become our student, and get access to effective and free educational materials. Good morning. Please come into my office. Good morning. Thank you. I see that you have some impressive writing experience. Yes, I have written for several top newspapers in the country. I'm also in the process of writing my first novel. Wonderful. I'd like to know why you're interested in this position at our paper. Excuse me. What should be included in my CV? Generally speaking, a CV or resume is made up of six parts. Personal information, educational experience, practical experience, personal skills, self-evaluation and job intentions. What kind of personal information? Including your name, sex, date of birth, height, phone number, and so on. What should I prepare for the recruitment fair? You should wear a formal dress and be confident. What application materials should I take? You should take several resumes and some copies of your graduate diploma. I am really exhausted, you know. I have been working without the weekend for two weeks. My boss always asks us to work overtime. Does your boss pay you for the overtime work? No, but he provides free meals and sometimes gives us some small gifts. Many of us get very tired of this, and we'd rather have weekends than stay in the office. He should know that this is against the labor law in our country. Legally, employees should get double pay if asked to do extra work during the weekend or on holidays. We all know about that, but we have no choice. The chairman of the trade union says he is going to negotiate with the management. I suggest that you go to the lawyer's office to get some help. That's a good idea. I think we will soon come to a solution to the problem. Hi, Zena. Lots of people are looking for you. Like who? Like Elvin. He isn't too happy about what you promised stars. Calm. I've got it under control. You do realize that it isn't humanly possible for us to finish by next week? What if you had three more top-notch programmers to help you? That would definitely make a difference. But Vince already said no. Hi, John Phillips. I'm Rose Green. I've been asked to handle your training and introduce a little bit of the company to you. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too, Ms. Green. This company seems so big right now. I don't know how I'll ever get used to it. After a week, you'll be running around here like a pro. Let me give you this list of departments first. Next to each department is its location and the name of the manager. Great. That'll be big help, Ms. Green. I'll show you around and explain the operation as we go along. That'll be most helpful. That is our office block. We have all the administrative depart, ments there. Down there is the research and development section. How much do you spend on development every year? About 3 to 4 percent of the gross sales. What's that building opposite us? That's the warehouse. We keep a stock of the faster moving items so that urgent orders can be met quickly from stock. If I placed an order now, how long would it be before I got delivery? It would largely depend on the size of the order and the items you want.
How are you, Mr. Wilson? I am Tina. Glad to meet you, Mrs. Tina. Please have a seat. I know our employment of Forcer has already given you the information about your employee contract, but I'd like to go over the main details again before signing. First, you'll be getting a monthly salary, with one month paid vacation after one year of service. That's what I understand. You'll be covered by our medical plan while on duty. Since you'll be middle management, you're expected to be available up to 1.5 hours past normal working hours. Any approved time over that will be paid at time and a half, which you can take as salary or time off. Exactly my understanding. A reasonable number of sick days will be covered by the company. Any extended illness will be covered by insurance. Have you read the other terms of the contract? Yes, I have. Do you have any other questions? Just one. I noticed an item about flex time. Is that a possibility for me? Yes, it is, but you'll have to discuss the details with your manager. That's acceptable. Good. Now, if you'll just sign here, you can start work in three days. Okay, folks, let's get to work. We need to come up with some ideas for the new Essentials perfume campaign. This is a really big contract and we are under a lot of pressure here to impress the client. Well, let's get down to business, shall we? Now is probably a good time to start our discussion. The main purpose of this meeting is to talk about the benefits and disadvantages of our new project. The reason I have called this meeting is to review a proposal we have received from our international division in Hong Kong. The agenda for this meeting is as follows. First, a presentation of the new proposal by Mr. Black. Second, an analysis by Ms. Nielsen. Finally, a discussion about whether or not to implement this proposal. Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way, with ease and efficiency.